So when we're diagramming an elliptical clause as a comparison, there's a couple of options that might show up. Um, and so this time we're going to take a look at what happens when we have an as with another as. So we have a kind of an as, as combo. So when this one reads, Justin is not as annoyed with Emily's drooling as Jack. Let's try as Zach. Sorry, buddy. I can read. And so in this case, I have this word Zach. And we know as something which is elliptical, I'm missing word. What I'm really saying is as Zach is annoyed. It's been cut out. And that's what makes it an elliptical clause. Let's diagram this. So I noticed that my first sentence is Justin is not as annoyed with Emily's drooling. And I'm going to compare that to as Zach is annoyed with Emily's drooling is really what you're saying. So my first sentence, which is about Justin, I'm going to change my color here because blue. And so I have a sentence which says Justin is annoyed. So here's Justin. And you could treat, I guess you could treat is annoyed as a passive voice. Um, I'm going to treat it as passive voice. I think it will just be easier. Is annoyed. Um, and he is, it's as annoyed. And it's an, uh, is annoyed with. And over. It's a really bad step, everybody. But there's my gerund, which is going to be drooling. So I step that word drooling. And it's Emily's drooling. So remember, anytime we have a, a determiner for a gerund, it's always going to go underneath the noun part of it. So let's put them right here. So Justin is annoyed with Emily's drooling, as annoyed. So we're using this word as, almost like an adverb. It's, it's some kind of, of way of modifying how annoyed, as annoyed. And then we'd say, well, how annoyed? It's, uh, he is as annoyed as Zach is annoyed. And that becomes the elliptical part. So when I do the elliptical part, I'm going to always diagram him separately. And when we do a comparison, you're actually creating an exact replica. So what you have over here, you should have over here. So I prefer to have it as full as possible. By that, I mean I'm saying Zach, and then I'm really saying is Zach is annoyed. These words are actually elliptical. And so I'm going to put them in parentheses. They're not really there. And so really what's happening then is that word as, in this case here, is actually then going from this verb to that word as. And I get to write the word as on this line. Now when I say I'm trying to create an exact replica, I try to fully write the whole diagram as best I can. So this time I'm actually going to put in this, this, and this. What I'm really saying is Zach is as annoyed with, I'm going to do X's this time, with drooling, Emily's drooling. So once again, you could put X's here. I'm going to go ahead and do that in case some of you like that. And so I could say Zach is annoyed with Emily's drooling. You notice I put the X here on the elbow of that gerund. I guess it's the only way of really showing I'm trying to hit both sides. And so that's why I put that there. But you could have replaced the whole thing with words in parentheses. But the takeaway here is that word as, which is our subordinating conjunction, is going to go back to its comparison word. And we're using the word as as our comparison. How annoyed? As annoyed. As Zach is annoyed. And that's how we do our first of two examples of an elliptical clause as a comparison.